Yeah, you have more to talk about? That nigga was bad, man. And that nigga. I put him up there, probably number one. No that limit. It was cold, man. Artist. That nigga used to dance while he rap. That nigga was you a straight so? performer. Who you got number one No Limit artist? Mia? I'm going, I'm going with Mia. Yeah. Me uh, too. Okay, Mia. Shit. Me yeah. Too. I would. That it's between the two. It. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Like Silk to Shocker, because you, you're on that player from the South Stack G's, nigga. Silk went in on that. I mean, one, two, three. No silk or cheese. All about that motherfucking mayo. Yeah, you get one or two songs. Silk went in on that nigga. And Silk been lost. Me. You heard what I just said. <laughs> silk ain't you know he ain't, hey, he ain't no mama Mia. <laughs> nah, yeah, I'm I'm sure. Sure. Silk had his position though. He yes, had, he did. He did. <laughs> Front and stunt. Nigga, ask your bitch ass to come in from that third world, niggas. He, 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 he played it too. One, one thing you got to you got to really realize about Silk Shock, he never presented himself as an MC like that. But right. you know, he never did. But wait a minute, though. Love Silk you do Shock. know he was the MC that they built the company around. Yeah. Who? Mm-hmm. Who? Silk. Silk was. Ain't no way. Yes, yeah, sir. that's who the rapper was supposed to be. Yeah. Why not see Murder? Nah. See Murder wasn't even down there yet. I mean, he hit more people than see Murder did. For real? Yeah. He had the youth, bro. When you get the youth, you got everything, Jack. He had the look. He and, the thing. and he had a couple of key features. Yeah. I mean, he did something with, uh, I think Beyonce and them, did yeah. he? Oh, yeah. What about Mystical? Mystical, Mystical too. Mystical yeah. was kind of. No. What? No, I'm talking about for as, time. far as he no. may be. He, came, he went to the army. You got to understand. I'm thinking back of how his. his He's more worldly. He was, yeah, the, his personal, just him moving around the way he did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. He wasn't just there like that for me. Mm. I seen him. He left and he came back. I'm he was telling jamming. you, mystical was so. He was ahead jamming. Of his time. That nigga was bad, but oh, I'm just man. saying, you could tell he left. And I told Kale that when I interviewed him, like you could tell he left. Mm-hmm. Like he came back, but he left, and then you know, he had more to talk about. That nigga was bad, man. And that nigga, I put him up there, probably number one. No that limit. It was cold, man. Artist. That nigga used to dance while he rap. That nigga was a like straight so? performer. Who you got number one no limit artist? Mia? I'm going with Mia. Yeah. Me uh, too. Okay, Mia. Shit. Me yeah. Too. I would. It's between the two. Boss lady mama. Mia. It's between the two. You right. Mia the one. Mia was the most consistent uh, rapper on the You right. No man, you right. Lord, I ain't gonna yeah. lie. Yeah. I regress. Sorry, Mystical, Mama Mia. Mystical was talented. Don't yes. get it twisted, but he was not consistent enough as she was. But No. But you know, their development came... After they had did that with, with with Pimp and that them songs and the build up, I mean you talked about that build mm-hmm, up, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And that was one of the things that kind of I believe was where you know they had the little issues was because of that. You Let know? me tell you something, and, and I think Mr. Lee, I'm always into, I'm into sports, yeah, mainly football. You know what I mean? If Patrick Mahomes would have ended up, say with the Miami Dolphins at that time. He wouldn't have been Patrick Mahomes. So being in a great situation helps you out. And when he was able to construct Beats by the Pound, that take a lot of weight off your shoulders when you can come with hit songs like that. Yeah. Now all you gotta do is come with the hooks. Yeah. And then, then the way they was recording, it was a collective effort. I mean, somebody, somebody might can say this hook, oh yeah, put this hook in there. It ain't all about, I got the, in UGK instance, it was just two men doing everything and coming out with albums. When you got eight, nine motherfuckers in the studio collabing on a record, yeah. And you got, how many producers is in Beat by the Proud? Four? Yeah. Them boys was jamming. Shout out to my brother Moby Dick. Yeah. That's, That's my, my brother, partner. man. Yeah. My you know, man. I'm KLC back. KLC. KL. Uh, I don't I think, play no game by KL. KL, yeah. KL a real dude. He makes some real beats. Yeah, but I, th- brother, I, think, I think Moby Dick was the... Moby had the, had the hooks and he's singing, you know. Yeah, what I'm saying? man. <laughs> Playing that piano, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we on Boss Talk 101.